We're going to turn now to Money Monday. And we are joined now by a friend of mine and a friend of the show now, best-selling author and money expert, Nicole Lapp. And she has her new book. It's called Miss Independent. It's out next month. Details how to get your hard-earned money to work for you. She says with a little knowledge and smart risk, you can achieve true financial independence. So let me start with, uh, first of all, why this book? You, you says you're fourth, and the impetus behind this book was what? So you know me. We've known each other for, what, a decade? Yes. I didn't come from money. Yeah. I learned how to make my own money, how to grow my own money while it, I'm sleeping at the School of Hard Knocks. It has become my mission, TJ, to take the jargon out of doing that. And there wasn't a book at this level that did that. You can't budget your way into wealth. You can't save your way into wealth. Those are good things. But you even can't have your base salary build long-term wealth for you. What will is investing and utilizing this beautiful, beautiful force of compound interest. Mm -hmm. Einstein calls it the eighth wonder of the world. And that's because your money is literally making money for you while you're sleeping. You don't have to do a heck of a lot. As you said, you work so hard for your money. It's time it return the favor. <laughs> and you don't need a lot of money. You just need time. So the earlier you start, the better. And as far as I'm concerned, today is as good a day as any. Okay. And part of this is saying, this could be intimidating for people, but you can do it. You can negotiate your bills. The worst thing they can say is no, yeah. right? And the answer is always no, TJ, if you don't ask. I like to do this twice a year. Call your major bill collectors up. Ask for a better rate. And oftentimes, they'll throw you a bone versus losing you as a customer. So first, your credit card APR. That is negotiable, even though it comes on a fancy paper. It's not gospel. Second, your housing. Third, your cable or phone bill. Fourth, your car lease or note. And fifth, your insurance or medical debt. Yes, even medical debt is negotiable. We've saved all this money. Now, what do we do with the money we saved? So we know about direct deposit for bill paying, right? But I say put it on autopilot when it comes to setting up your emergency fund. What this pandemic has shown us is that emergencies happen, right? And having six to nine months of expenses in the bank is easier to accomplish if you don't see it coming out of your paycheck. That way you don't have the temptation to spend it. And after that is covered, don't stop. I would funnel more money into low cost, low risk investments. Warren Buffett said the best investment Americans can make are low cost S&P 500 index funds. He is one of the greatest investors of our time. He actually put that in his will, TJ, mm. for a majority of his money. So you don't have to look at stock charts all day long to grow your wealth. You just have to set up this system huh. once, ideally at the beginning of the year, and then set it and forget it. Well, Nicole, it's always good to see you. Congratulations on, of course, the engagement and the book as well. Folks, the book is Miss Independent. It comes out February 1st, available now for pre-order. We'll see you and congrats to your fiance as well, okay? <laughs> Condolences. Right. <laughs> I said congrats. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.